the religion and humans. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, people, we created you all from a single man and a single woman, and made you into races and tribes, so that you should recognize one another. In Allah's eyes, the most honored of you are the most honored of you are the ones most mindful of Him. Allah is all knowing, all aware. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is His servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The message of Islam, the message of Islam is a lofty humanistic message which is based in its essence on universal noble values. It is a call to goodness and peace as it carries happiness for all humanity. The Almighty Allah said, It was only as a mercy that we sent you Prophet to all people. The Prophet wasallam said, I have been sent to perfect good manners. Our pure religion, our pure religion has honored the human being just for their humanity, regardless of their color, gender, language, or race. As the Almighty says, we have honored the children of Adam. The Almighty Allah did not say we have honored Muslim alone or believers alone. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and peace be upon him said, O oh people, your Lord is one and your Father is one. An Arab has no super superiority. An Arab has no superiority over non Arab. Nor an Arab has any superiority over an Arab. Also the white has no superiority over the black. Nor does the black have any superiority over the white. Except by piety. Moreover, our great religion called for the preservation of every human soul. And the protection of everybody. There shall be no contempt for anyone on the basis of his religion, nor killing on the basis of one's belief. The preservation of one's soul in general is one of the six major principles that all religion came to protect. The Almighty Allah said, Do not take life which Allah has made sacred except by right. Allah also said, if anyone kills a person, unless it's retribution, retribution for a murder or spreading corruption in the land, it is as if he kills all mankind. While if any saves a life, it is as he saves the lives of all mankind. The Prophet has said, A believer continues to guard his faith as long as he does not shed blood unjustly. The human dimension in our pure religion is not limited to the prevention of harm. Rather, our religion calls for restraint of harm and tolerance. Tolerance is an inherent value in our religion, our culture, and our nature. When we review the book of Allah, we find we find it representing a call for tolerance. As the Almighty Allah, for example, says, Be tolerant and command what is right. Pay no attention to foolish people. Allah also says, Let them pardon and forgive. Let them pardon and forgive. Do not wish that Allah should forgive you. God is most forgiving and merciful. In the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, we find the Prophet is saying, May Allah show mercy to a man who adopts a kind attitude when he sells, buys, and demands for the repayment of loans. The Prophet ﷺ also said, A man enter paradise with his tolerance. 
either when he judging, when judging, or when co complaining to a judge. Either when judging or when complaining to a judge. The value of tolerance in Islam is an attitude that should be observed when dealing with all people to accept them all, respect them all, and be fair with them all. Either when selling, buying, and all other aspects of life. Among the lofty human values that Islam calls for is the good speech. Good speech with all people without distinction. As the Almighty Allah said, speak good words to all people. Moreover, we are commanded to reply, we are commanded to reply to others in a better way than what they have said. As the Almighty Allah said, tell my servants to say what is the best. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa his companions and followers. Among the most important human value is the value of compassion that benefit the whole society. This value embodies the principles of human fraternity, which establishes a cohesive society based on love and giving. The Almighty Allah said, it was only as a mercy that we sent you prophet to all people. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the compassionate one means Allah has mercy on those who are merciful. If you show mercy to those who are on the earth, he who in the heaven will show mercy to those will show mercy to you. If you show mercy to those who are in the earth, he who in the heaven will show mercy to you. The Prophet ﷺ said, The believers in their mutual kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. The Prophet ﷺ said, He is not one of us who does not have a mercy in our young and does not respect our elders. How much we need, how much we need to be aware of the essence of religion and its numerous human values so that our societies become stable and love and harmony prevail. We affirm that, we affirm that whoever neglects, but rather goes, whoever neglects from these values does not only go against the requirement of religions, but rather goes against the requirement of humanness and is, is stripped from his humanity and from the natural instinct that Allah created people with. We ask Allah, we ask Allah to save our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.